This is not the spring semester I was expecting, nor was anyone else. In spite of everything happening, Western students, faculty, and staff remain Leatherneck strong, and we'll make it through this challenge together. From what we've heard so far from our students and faculty, we've successfully made the transition to our new online environment. We have greatly expanded our online tutorial services. Our Faculty Senate has expanded the pass-fail option for students. And faculty and staff continue to rally together to provide this best experience they can. While we continue to work through some of the current challenges, we're still looking forward to the future. We have transitioned to virtual recruitment. We're registering current and new students. We're looking to returning to normal as we approach the upcoming fall semester. On the medical front, our staff in the Bew Health Center are working tirelessly to ensure our campus community remains healthy and has medical assistance. Our building service workers and facilities maintenance staff, public safety, technology, and so many others are working behind the scenes to ensure our university's operations continue and that our students have the support they need. And we continue to work with city, county, and state leaders as we coordinate our efforts. The stay-at-home order has been extended until April 30th, so please continue to stay home. Our online format means there is no reason for most faculty or staff to come to campus, and we urge everyone to remain safe at home. Continue practicing proper social distancing, hand washing, and other safety practices. I know that as the weather turns nicer, there's a desire to be outdoors with friends and neighbors. But large gatherings, even outdoors, must be avoided. I also know that it's incredibly hard to be away from friends and loved ones. Our children live several states away, and not a day goes by that I don't worry about them and think about them. It's also difficult to have such a drastic change in your routine and your daily lives. But for your sake, as well as the sake of your friends and classmates, neighbors and loved ones, we have to follow the protocols that are in place so we can return to the daily lives we know and appreciate in the near future. Please stay home and stay safe. We're thinking of you and we miss you.